The Glass Masquerade is an indie game developed by Honest Loot Development Team and was published through them, the Garati Distribution, which Stage Clear Studios assisted them with this project. On November the 18th, 2016, The Glass Masquerade was released on Steam first, with other ports being released later on. I'm rocking with the PlayStation 4 version, so let's get into it. The Glass Masquerade art style is eye-catching with a central focal point being that of the obvious stained glass artworks, hence the title Glass Masquerade. And for whatever reason a person doesn't know what stained glass pieces are, you only have to visit your nearby church to find good examples of it. To put it simply, stained glass art is essentially different colored glass pieces that are placed together to either form sequences of patterns or to create an abstract interpretation of recognizable features. Glass Masquerade emulates its types of art through various puzzles and pieces that the player will solve. The magnificent color shadings presented are just majestic if I can describe it, with its bright to dark colors that make out designs that can sometimes seem downright mythological with cultural undertones. The sound design of Glass Masquerade sounds grand, and in particular the sound that you hear from glass fragments when connected to other pieces actually sound like, well, glass. Other sound effects that you will hear are this funny tune when fragments are being turned around, and sounds that make the player feel as if they're within a grand corridor, if that makes sense. The music of Glass Masquerade sounds nothing short of wondrous and enchanting. The OST was done by Nikita Savanov, a Russian composer who has had a hand within not only this game's music, but in other games as well, along with mostly independent medias consisting of trailers and films. Nikita brings forth the common and tranquil melodies that sets the mood for this game. The original soundtrack has 8 tracks with my favorite band the map theme that comes in with the strings giving momentum and this anticipation that something is about to happen. I will have links where you can get this original soundtrack and also links to Nikita's website where you can check out some of his compositions and some of his other works as well. Glass Masquerade is a puzzle solving game and nothing else. The player basically chooses well known places around the world to travel to and put together fragments of broken glass paintings until the picture of their art piece is fully restored. You restore each piece of art by finding the correct fragments located on these rotatable rings. The pieces located here may not seem like the ones that the player was looking for due to this weird quirk where the pieces flips itself a few times revealing its true identity rather than simply relying on its initial shadowy representation. After searching fragments that complement each other, the player places them into their respective placements piece by piece. Upon the initial playthrough, Glass Masquerade has the option of assisting the player by pointing to the pieces out that are the corners of the glass art. This is shown by the obvious rings that makes them stand out amongst the other fragments. While doing this, you are time. This is depicted by the hands of the clock constantly rotating around the center of each finger with the total amount of time being revealed at the end of each stage. There is no rush whatsoever though, and thank god this isn't one of those beat the clock type of games. The time displayed is simply just to show how much time the player has placed into completing a puzzle. Depending on your level of comprehension, it could take up to 15 minutes or more on completing a single level. In my personal playthrough, 30 minutes only felt like 5 to 10 minutes instead. Due to how laid back this game is, the player could easily lose track of time playing. But anyway, it's time to put a rating on this game. I'm going to give Glass Masquerade an 8 out of 10. I personally don't play games like this that much due to my perspective that puzzle games where obstacles are fixed and unchanged, it could lose its magic once the player has experienced everything there is to offer. In other words, when all of the puzzles are solved, there really isn't that much afterwards unless the player is entertained by redoing the puzzles repeatedly. For me, that very same notion applies here. However, it does not mean that the short ride was enjoyable, because it was. I enjoyed the common atmosphere, the eye candy, and the challenges that Glass Masquerade gives. Glass Masquerade is now available for Steam on MacBook and PC for $5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch for $12, and Google Play. At the time of this review, the sequel of this game entitled Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions is out with a different theme and of course more puzzles. I'll get to reviewing that one later on in the future. But anyway, you can pick up Glass Masquerade now, but I would rather wait for a sale if possible. Anyway, stay safe out there, and peace y'all.